everyone felt the same way. I'm not saying that. See, because it's true. I asked everyone, did they want to go? I didn't tell them, you will go. You know, but I couldn't do that. I felt that this would have to be their own decision to make. I was born a natural gambler. I can't recall just where. Raised on brew and poker. A dollar here and there. Blackjack hand, the dealer man said, pay off that last bet. Bad cards at 21, it's all I ever get. Go down gambling. Say it when you're running low. Early in 1972, Sammy Davis Jr. made a trip to South Vietnam as a representative of President Nixon's Committee on Drug Abuse. His objectives were to observe the military drug rehabilitation program, to talk with the troops, to report on race relations, and of course to entertain. When he returned from Vietnam, we asked him if it was anything like he expected. No. Uh, a couple of things you could, you know, you could say you expected to happen. But the warmth of the guys, I'm not talking about for the show, I'm talking about on a one-to-one -one basis. I didn't know how they would react to me. The knowledge that I learned about the military, because I haven't been around a lot of military since I was in the Army myself, which was in the 40s, that was absolutely illuminating to me. I know it sounds like... Uh, a lot of hogwash or something else if we weren't on television, I could say. But it's true, you know, the Army, being an establishment of its, of its own, it is very hard to make a step forward, to change things. Uh, because it is a system. But when I see the changes in the Army and the military between 1943 and 1970, I am amazed, because I thought it had made half that kind of a step, if that much. But it is just so much better than I ever expected. I cannot repeat that enough. If you're going to ask me, is the Army a country club, hell no. Is it going to be a drag on the average cat that's on the street, whether he be black or white, to get into the military? I say, yes it is, because we live in a society that promotes total freedom. But everybody better thank God that the military is where it has its head where it is and is trying to improve itself, as opposed to where it was before. This is all I'm saying. Get yourself together like this so I can say hello. I'm gonna sing a couple of songs. Ain't no big thing, you know, I just came by. We just got in about, we've been in there now two hours. Got off the big plane and changed and came over because we knew some of you cats had been out. We just came back, so we wanted to come over and say hello. I like being here. I'd like me to meet my wife who made the trip with me. Honey, come up here and take a bow. This is my wife. This is our bees. This is Jen. Can I get this microphone? Would you excuse me? I, I, incidentally, I didn't run into one officer or one enlisted man who said, oh boy, I'm glad to be here. No one is. But I do think that I saw a spirit of, uh, hey man, I'm here. I'm going to try to make the best of it. But once they're there, what I'm saying is that 80 or 90 percent of the cats I saw that even had that attitude of I don't want to be there was doing their job, man. And that I didn't think I'd see. I didn't hear, uh, you know, the worst kind of negative thing, except that, hey, man, it shows a bitch to be here. But bitching in the Army is part of the military, man. 
There's no fun in being in the army if you can't bitch about it. But what I'm saying is the soldier today has more recourse. He has more avenues to, to make vocal mm -hmm. the complaints. Because somebody's listening. The drug problem is example one. Somebody listened to somebody and suddenly there are programs being done in the military. But I do have to be honest and say the military establishment is 10 times ahead of the civilian program that I've run into, that I'm involved with. Because of his interest and involvement in solving the drug problem in the States, Sammy Davis was very much at home talking and listening to military drug patients in addition to entertaining them. Patients in the drug rehabilitation centers felt more comfortable speaking with Sammy Davis without the presence of film cameras. But these scenes give us a good idea of how the program works. Delivered rations in the morning from 8 to 11. And that's all for the rest of the day, and there was nothing to do. So I just sit around the house and got messed up. That's really about well, what it's really so, about. It's yeah. just a big time passer. Well, you get within yourself. I mean, you don't care about anybody, the people back home. You just cut off everything. With, like, you don't write home. Like, I didn't write home or nothing. And, uh, you know, like, I mean, people would write me, and I still wouldn't write them back. I didn't care. I won't go back to using heroin. I think that most guys who maybe have lit up two or three joints at home and cooled it didn't know what they were getting into when they lit up something, what it was laced with, what it was done, and so before you knew it, man, they were hooked. Because in the society that we live in now, unlike 25 years ago, smoking a joint to those young kids is not a criminal act to them in the military or at home. Let's face that one reality. The only thing I could do is say, hey, man, I used to smoke pot, you know, but I found out it's too dangerous, meaning both ways. It's dangerous legally. It's dangerous because the average young cat, man, whatever he wants to contribute, even if he's, if he's a dissident, he'll be so messed up by drugs that he won't even be able to say right on. What you get at, it's not really working. I mean, I can get, I can get more out of grass, smoking grass, because I know I'm not going to get hooked on it. I can still get, uh, still get a good high. You say, uh, you know, you say you get a really good high out of it, but it still isn't worth it. Why isn't it worth it? I'm tear you down. I'm gratified that there are black brothers, man, and white cousins of mine in Vietnam who say, this is stopping me from doing my thing. And they're not talking about so much the service. They're talking about when they get out of the service, when they go home. The drug abuse program is not just a stopgap for Vietnam. It's being applied here, it's being applied at home, it's being applied in, in camps throughout America. I'm hoping that some of the programs that are that are been put into the military establishment can be adapted into civilian life in some form. Some of those things are so so positively good, you know. God bless the child. Talking about the child, the black child, the white child. The yellow child, the starving child, the naked child, the hungry child, and all oh, y'all. Not got his oh, hey. I thought it would be fun. I thought it would be great, but not like I anticipated, man. It went way over. <clears throat> from here to here, out here. Now, if the thing that happens in, in Westerns, just let me lay this on. The thing that happens in Westerns that's so groovy is that no matter how you walk in real life, as soon as you put one of these on and you do one of them cowboy pictures, you got to get attitude. You know, you can walk like this here. As <laughs> soon as you put a gun on, man, and you put the hat down and you get off the horse, suddenly something happens. <laughs> Now, I, I happen to be my distinct, one of my many distinctions, and one I'm very proud of. I was the first black cowboy in America on television. Really was? Okay. Did a story about the Buffalo Soldiers. 
That was the first one. It was about 12 years ago on Tuffer. It was great. Now, the thing that I have noticed about cowboys, now, not only do you give an attitude, but everybody's got to walk. First of all, there's, uh, there's Robert Mitchum's walk. Now, Robert Mitchum has a walk, man. He's got his hat always on the back of his head like this. Eyebrows up. The big barrel chest is out. See? Eyes half closed. He fears no living man, because he's stoned most of the time. <laughs> This is my song, oh God of all the nations, a song of peace for lands afar and mine. This is my home, the country where. My heart is Here are my hopes My dreams My holy shrine But other hearts In other lands Are beating With hopes and cats came to me and said, hey, Matt, just thank you for coming and bringing us some entertainment. So that's where the, the gratification comes in, personal gratification. Oh. Yeah, why don't we just go for a minute. Stu Candell. Hello, Stu. Uh, We've got a couple of ideas for programs, and we'll let you decide. Uh, we've got a couple of crew members that we can have either sitting here talking to you, asking questions, rapping with you, or we can have anybody you like. This is for Sam. We're going to put a movie on. You. you know, I haven't seen Imitation of Life, but I had to go on the stage. This is the ending. Missed half of Flip Wilson. Why don't you have him? I tried that. You wouldn't do that? No, no chance. I'm so tired, man. I can't. Ain't says me lying. I've been up since 5.30 this morning. Okay. Ain't says me lying. Can I just sit here, please? I look high. I look low. I look everywhere I go. Cause folks, I'm looking for a home in the heart of the country. I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell everyone that I know ho, ho, that I'm looking for a home. I just want to let you know that we uh, we not only brought something for the brothers, we brought something for the cousins. We did not come here absolutely alone. Down in the crap game, a losing at the rest. No hope in the keto card is all I ever get. I've been called a natural lover by some ladies over there. But I'm just an actual loser. No, 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 no. <laughs>
a lot of people didn't come. That, that you know, because if a cat's grooving to Wilson Pickett and Otis Redding and Ray Charles and James Brown. <laughs> And Sammy Davis Jr. is not his cup of tea in terms of buying my records. Some of the fun shows, however, were at the fire basin. problems working at remote locations, such as an inadequate power source for electric guitars and other instruments required by most entertainers today. But for Sammy Davis, it was like old times. today in America finds himself in the, the best of times and the worst of times. He can voice a lot of opinions. He can have this great communication between blacks, which is as it should be. To get that applied in the military is very difficult, but it is being applied. If I saw none of the things that I saw, if I didn't see cats doing the dap, if I didn't see these link, this linkage of communication on, from uh, black to black, then I'd be worried about it because I'd say, those cats will never fit into the society when they go back out. I saw some linkage between the white to black. I saw it out in the fire basin. Huh? I really did. The relationship to black to white in the military, in terms of advancement, in terms of what you can do if you really want to do it, is maybe 40% better than in the civilian life. I mean that. The problem is that nobody wants to be in the military. No matter how groovy it is, I don't care how long they let you cut your hair or how big a do you wear. You get to Las Vegas again and go buy a chemo's dress shop. Yeah. You say hello to my old lady for me, man. What's her name? Renee. 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 Oh, Renee. 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 Okay. I will. I will. Thank you. I will. Well, I'll be there March 15th. Hey. 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 Wow. 
was no show. It was just coming over to say hello, man. That's all. Okay, then. I tell you that there's a, a problem that exists in our world about drugs. But you better deal with it. Deal with it honestly. Everybody now! None of the officers or, or the or enlisted men that I talked to ever thought the problem was solved. I think they, and rightly so, they feel very proud as to where the, where the, where the movement is now. But knowing full well that there's a mountain that you've got to climb. Vietnam cannot take all the blame. Because if it is, why do we have that so big a drug problem in New York City? The Creature McGee Wow! Wow! Waving all night. Your hair's all messed up, baby. And your clothes don't fit you right. Country Joe's paying your monthly rent Tells his wife he can't imagine where the money went Dressing you up in style Evil woman child Mr. Bojangles Mr. Bojangles thought he could dance Told me of the times he'd spent with minstrel shows Traveling throughout the South He spoke with tears of 15 years How his dog and he They just traveled about But the dog up and died Dog up and died and after 20 years, he still breathes. Mr. Bojangles. Mr. Bojangles. <laughs> 